too. Good morning, guys. Another installment of uh, Workout Wednesday. I'm April Dupree, and of course, I have our bestie and fitness and nutrition expert, Mackie Shillstone. We are at Mackie's amazing home gym, and we have been using the BOSU ball. We're going to use this for the next few weeks so you guys can see just how versatile this amazing piece of equipment is. You can do a lot with it with just one piece of equipment. So today, we're going to talk about different plank variations. So you'll see me get in a plank, but in different forms of it. And of course, Mackie's going to try to challenge me as much as possible. I would expect nothing less, but I'm going to hand the mic off to him so he can get started. <laughs> well, thank you, April. And April's right. We're going to do the plank, and the plank is proven, proven to be one of the best core stabilization exercises out there by um, rehabilitative studies. We're going to show you the prone plank, and then we're going to show you the side plank. Actually, the side plank may be the star of the show and variations. We're going to use again, we're teaching you the BOSU, bo, which means both sides up. It is a stability device, and we've been talking about something called proprioception, called kinesthesia. And what that means is you have spatial awareness of, uh, of, of where you are and action or movement. And this is so important because you could not take a step if you didn't have this proprioception. You'd have to think about everything, every single move. This device we'll use on the dome side today, not the flat side. So we're gonna put it down, and guess what? My turn. I, last week, did all the work. So April is gonna come in there and she is going to do the, uh, oh boy, I get the break, okay? <laughs> now, now I want you to watch this. Well, hold, hold there for about an hour and let me talk to everybody, okay? You see, um, notice the spread, the balance of the legs. Notice the spine is straight. Notice the bent knee, uh, the bent arms at 90 degrees. Notice the shoulder and the elbow are right over each other. That's critical. Now she's going to hold that. Now. What she might want to try is bringing the feet a little closer together. Now lift one leg into extension. Now this is hip extension, so she's stabilizing, then go to the other one, and you come on up. So you can hold that position and then, and then move into something. Maybe hold the prone plank for 20 seconds and then put some movement. How about turning to the side plank? We're going to pick one side. Notice she's going to get in a 90 degree angle. Now notice the, the BOSU is unstable, so she's got to use the core to stabilize. Notice where the shoulder is. Notice the alignment. Now she can hold that. Now watch, she's going to drop down. Drop down, okay, and come back up. She bent the knees, all right? And by bending the knees, that makes it a little bit easier. You, the normal way. Then there you go, there you go. Now, we're going to be working the oblique, and the obliques run diagonal. They don't run side to side. So l let me help you up. You're getting a little older. You see, it's great. I love, I love doing that. When, when they get older, you, when they get older, you just got to deal with it, you know. Yeah, I can hold a little bit with you. Yeah, well, anyway, I'll give it back to you now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. That is a lot harder than it seems uh, as though it is, but of course you can do all of this in modified versions, and it's just a great piece of equipment, and leave it to Mackie to give us something super challenging to do that we all can try to aspire but never actually get there. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us this morning. Join us next week. We have much more planned for you. You can take uh, or check out all of this at maxwellnutrition.com. And of course, visit our website at wwltv.com and click on the health tab.